Hello my friends and uh, this is uh, my little uh, direct drive upgrade for the CR5 uh, Pro and uh, I can just tell you uh, it works really great you can see I made uh, two uh, fasteners uh, for each side this one is so you also can attach the cable a little bit better and it replaces the end stop uh, metal part on the back as well and uh, here is a bit uh, beefier piece and you put it on the side and then fasten uh, the extruder with two screws and this is a super easy uh, conversion so I use this Creality eFit extruder kit and in this package you get everything you need there's extender cable for extruders. I didn't have to rewire any cables whatsoever. And uh, I can just tell you, uh, the machine they just instantly got a lot better. The only drawback is I cannot use the top lid anymore. But that's uh, something I can be without because I'm mostly printing PETG where I don't need the enclosure. And the best part about this is remove these screws and uh, cut the zip tie and then you simply unplug the cable and then we uh, pull up the whole extruder assembly here in the Bowden connection. As you can see I, there's a Bowden connection down here. So there's a tiny, tiny Bowden tube that I'm connecting it down with. It's about 25 millimeters or uh, 30 millimeters long. So it's very short. I just wanted as short distance as possible. And then I just can uh, change the E-steps back again and then uh, use it as a Bowden system if I want to. This is more or less an... Uh, direct drive uh, solution that's good if you want to be able to change back without uh, modifying the machine too much and to change the e-steps is very simple I simply used notepad plus and made a g-code file that ha only had two lines the first line I changed the e-steps for the extruder to 405 the second line was just the M500 if I remember it right and this saves it uh, to EEPROM and when you need to change it back you simply do it back with the original E-steps and remember to write down the original E-steps and um, to show you the difference and to point out this extruder is also dual gear but it has uh, bigger gears this is the original one and this is okay dual gear but it has uh, very small gears the gears on this one is uh, uh, slightly bigger and what i can see the flow and everything is just so much better and the weight of the entire assembly is more or less compensated with that on this machine we have an 8-bit board and this limits the machine to the speeds it can print anyway and accelerations because if we start printing complex models too fast it will not be able to keep up anyway. So I usually print around uh, between uh, 30 and 60 millimeters per second and uh, I, I can uh, only see positive uh, sides on this in quality wise and to point it out the weight of the entire extruder assembly is very very low and uh, as you can see I removed uh, some of the original metal parts and the part that you need to remove to put this together is quite heavy so it more or less uh, compensates that we put the extruder on top of it I just wanted to show you guys so, and uh, I'm very positive. And as you can see, 
this is also very important. The zip tie back here is goes to this uh, side plate I made. And this zip tie is more or less as a security. If something would happen to this, that it breaks, that this uh, doesn't uh, end up uh, inside a print or something to do, break your machine even more because uh, this part will keep it in place but this is an extra security if this breaks and if zip tie breaks this is holding it it's uh, security is good and to explain here also why do I use a Bowden tube here I just I just have the Bowden tube to uh, feed the filament from my uh, spool holder and this is just because if the roll would get entangled as you can see here down here then the force will more or less be here it will try to pull in the extruder but we will not tear the entire extruder off the machine but it uh, will the force will more or less be here and then it will more or less chew up the filament instead of breaking everything so this is highly recommended if you do this mod on your CR5 it's a very sturdy design you can see there's no wiggle whatsoever on this but uh, it's always good to uh, be safe and um, yeah thank you for watching and and as I mentioned I try to make this uh, modification uh, to be as simple as possible to uh, turn it back to original if you need to and all the files you need are uh, on my profile on uh, cults 3d and yes of course I'm selling uh, a complete kit with a bunch of parts but uh, as I have mentioned before uh, Many years ago when I used to make all these parts, I uh, had the bad experience of I had people that just they uh, downloaded uh, my files, took credit for them and was selling them. And uh, I have a very small fee on Cults 3D, what I'm charging for them, but it's more or less to compensate me somehow for the time and material I used to make all these parts. And... Uh, yeah. If you don't like it, don't buy the kit of my pouch. Really simple. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.